Hello everyone. I am Mohammad Manzoor Ahmed. I am a Microsoft certified trainer. I run a blog that is www.manzoorthetrainer.com where you can get few or you can say many basic video tutorials for free. Here we are going to implement a live project that is a web application which is built on ASP.NET MVC and entity framework now what are we going to learn in this project so we'll first try to understand how to understand the requirements and design database out of that then we will see how to create solution and add projects to it then we will see how we create business objects and what are business objects then what is data access layer and how we create data access layer with the help of entity framework we will also see how to create business logic layer with the help of c sharp.net we'll see how to create presentation logic layer with the help of mvc we will see how to design models controllers and views for our project then we will also implement business rule validations we will see how to secure our app then we will go for some advanced operations like implementing transactions and ajaxifying our app and finally we will go for the conclusion and i will also show you how to publish your website we will also see in the security part we will also see how do we secure our app using facebook login that is very famous these days or you can also call it as external logins let us see what are we going to implement so we have that project live at linkhub.manzurthetrainer.com so let us see that so this is what we are going to develop with the help of mvc if you read here about this portal this portal is all about sharing a link or a url with the community which benefits both link owner and the community you can also share some commercial links that you want like offers and discounts the process is something like this if you want to share a link you need to register first so here you have the registration link or i can go for a registration i need to register first so i'm going to register as link hub user at gmail.com password link 183 link 183 now i will say create or you can say register so created successfully so we will also see how to bring this kind of notifications now i will log in link hub user link one at three now as soon as i log in you can see that there is an extra link that is submit url if i say sign out you won't see that submit url there is another link called as quick submit url we will see that later on now i'll go for submit url and i'll write url title link hub i'm going to submit the same url share urls under technology and i'll say create it says that created successfully if i'm going to say create again you can see that this is validation so we will also see how to perform these validations now i have shared a url now let me go for browse url and check whether that is available it is not available why because i have just submitted a url now it is a job of admin to approve it so i'll log out now admin will log in peter peter one at three 
now admin will go for approve or reject url you can see that in pending there is a single url which is in pending now admin can select that and reject it you can see this is an ajax request it should be available in rejected now again admin can approve it it's up to admin it should be available in approved urls you can see that link up now once i approve this it should be available in browse urls under technology category should be on page 2 that is here now end user can browse this so this is the complete flow and we have few more forms like if a user does not want to perform this long operation like registration then submitting you can quickly submit here just need to write their email address category title and the url and user can simply submit that you have login screen you can also go for login with facebook it should take me to the facebook login page now here it will check if a user with md.manzurahmad exist then it will map it to that existing user else it is going to create a new user here by the name md.manzurahmad@gmail.com now i'll say sign out let me log in with peter now peter can perform some extra operations as peter is admin peter can go for category add a new category and can view existing categories in the same way url admin can submit a url admin can approve or reject urls so we have seen this just now these are all the list of approved urls you can see this if i say select all i can select everything and i can say approve or reject so this is full fledged ajax form list user i have list of all the users so you can see this paging this is what we have implemented custom paging sorting is also custom sorting finally i can say sign out so that's it this is the complete flow this is what we are going to develop now what are the technologies that we have used this portal is purely developed on three layered architecture in visual studio 2013 using following technologies we have extensively used asp.net mvc for support we used jquery bootstrap c sharp is for your business logic layer and entity framework is data access layer and your backend is sql server if you want to learn these technologies from scratch then you can visit manzur the trainer portal and it is free and this tutorial is available on udemy so one important thing about this is we are using bootstrap you can see this term bootstrap bootstrap is nothing but it gives responsive design you can see that if i am trying to watch this on mobile you can see that it is going to adjust all the links are here it will resize automatically submit url you can see when form gets resized automatically link up home page you can see panels they are getting resized and one below the other automatically so this is a responsive design which fits all devices whether it is a desktop or ipad or mobile or whatever it may be so just follow my tutorial and we will see how to implement this complete portal thank you very much